I never knew Oompa Limpas were real. Ain't a damn thing popping. Ain't a damn thing popping, okay? What up, hunty? Welcome to Way of Yao. My name is Yao and it is a pleasure to see you all. As you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be delving a little bit deep into the tea. But before that, if you guys are new to the family, you're not subscribed, you don't know what's popping, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can see my weekly uploads. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button as well. It would do the absolute most for me. It means so much to me and I would really appreciate it. So, for this video, we will be talking about a couple of different topics that have been taking place within the beauty community. Um, I also have some really good news for you. I have to let you know that we are almost at 100k on Instagram. We are now at 97.2, I think. So, that is absolutely amazing. I feel so ecstatic. I'm so excited about that. And I'm so happy for every single one of you guys who have decided to support my art. And it means the absolute world to me! A lot of you guys have been asking me how I do the slits in my brow, so I'm going to quickly show you guys how I do that before we get into the tea of this video. So I literally just take a little bit of my concealer. This is the um, concealer I used to highlight with. This is Beautiful Bronze. Take a bit of that concealer on the back of my hand like that. Then I take my... This is the brush I actually used to shape around my brows. It's a very thin flat brush, dip it in a little bit of product like that and then I literally just at an angle do that do that so that's where it's going to begin you can wipe it away with a brush or with your finger really does not matter so that is how i do my slits for all of you guys who have been asking it's really not that deep get a bit of concealer a nice thin 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 brush you're good to go so while i spill the tea on you guys i'm gonna get ready and get my face on fleek so to begin with i'm gonna use some of my spray primer from nyx oh what child mm-hmm I feel that cool breeze and I am living for it. So while that dries, I'm going to start off by talking a little bit about what the world has been speaking about and that is the Beauty Blender Foundations. Now, <clears throat> I like a lot of other people did also see, you know, the first pictures of the Beauty Blender Foundations on the, I think it's Trend Mood on that Instagram page that, you know, gives you sneak peeks and like new, um, products that are coming up and stuff like that I first saw it on there and I must say I was a little bit alarmed I was a little bit scared looking at the picture I just got very scared and I just thought what is going on in this world it is officially 2018 and we are still bringing out a whole range of how many shades with only four dark shades and to, in my opinion the deep darkest shade isn't even that dark I'm pretty sure it's not as dark as me or a lot of the foundations that I have. By the way guys, I'm not going to tell you everything that I'm using on my face because this is more of a chit chat video. I'm sure you guys have seen me do my face a number of times and you don't really need me to talk about my base. It's nothing extravagant I'm doing today, okay? So, but one thing I will say is that I need a new sponge. This sponge is getting so busted and broken up, like it's a problem. So I'm gonna probably go to Kiko today to get a new one. So back to Beauty Blender now. A lot of you may have known them for the beauty sponges that can put them on the map. Not kinda, it put them on the mother map, you know? That's just the tea. And I feel as though when it comes to, you know, creating a sponge, that can work for anybody's skin tone. So that wasn't... It wasn't difficult to, you know, be inclusive. Whereas when it comes to foundation, you need to put in a little bit more work. You need to make sure that your the undertones are correct. Because when I looked at one of the shades, it looked borderline orange. I was like, sis, what is going on over here? I never knew Oompa Limpas were real. Like, is this an actual thing now? I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too sure. So, I definitely feel as though maybe not as much work went into it as 
as needed, you know? I think that with foundations, you need to put in a lot of time and effort, and if you don't do that, it's not gonna look the way you want it to look. It's not gonna match people well. It's not gonna include a lot of people. And looking at it, that's how it kind of looked to me, and I've never even used a beauty blend sponge, however, because I just feel as though I can get a sponge from anywhere. I feel as though, yes, they were the first to create that sort of idea and bring it to the forefront, make it mainstream, but I just felt as though I'm not going to pay this amount of money for a sponge when I can, you know, go to Kiko, get one for like £4, I think this one is, and this is actually my favourite sponge, so... I, that's why I never used the Beauty Blender sponge. However, when I heard that they were releasing foundations, I was like, sis, I am so here for this. I can't wait to try it because I really want to expand my foundation range and try out new ones and stuff like that. And because, you know, Fenty kind of set the mood and is making everybody actually release a nice wide range of foundations, I kind of assume that Beauty Blender, you know, they're going to come through for the melanated girls out here, they're going to come through for the chocolate and they are going to really represent. So I just assumed I'm going to get my shade until I saw those pictures and I was like, sis, ain't a damn thing popping. Ain't a damn thing popping, okay? Now, I rarely, rarely, rarely ever contour. And that is because I feel as though my bone structure is already quite defined. So when I do contour, I don't contour for the reasons that most people do. I'm not trying to enhance my cheekbone or my jawline. I'm literally making certain parts of my face darker so that it matches more with my neck and it doesn't look like I'm too light. So when I put on foundation, I put on concealer and powder, I end up looking too light a lot of the time. And I've actually already recorded this video and I looked at the footage and I was like, no, that's not going up. I look like I've... Bleach, so I've done something, something's going on with this one, you know what I mean? And so, um, I found that I actually need to contour just on the perimeters of my face to help add darkness back to my skin so that I don't look, like, too bright, basically. Because your sis is melanated. Don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but I'm just taking the colour on the perimeters of my face. I'm not actually cutting the cheekbone or anything like that because I'm not trying to create definition, I'm trying to create depth. And by the way, this foundation stick is from Tilt Cosmetics, absolutely amazing stick. It's the darkest and most easiest contour product I've found to use. There were some from um, Quay Vocal which were quite good. Um, those ones, however, were in like a little pot and so you kind of had to really scrape it out. It wasn't easy to access, I'm not even going to lie. Um, so that wasn't the absolute best product for me. However, the colours were really good and I heard that they're releasing contour sticks soon. So I'm going to be, you know, ready for those. I'm really excited to try those out. Hopefully they get the colours right, like with the compact ones, but um, just in a stick format. So it's easy to just, you know, slide on and call it a day and then blend out. Um, so moving on now to a little bit more tea. Let's get into... Huda Beauty! Now Huda Beauty actually reposted one of my videos on Instagram a couple of weeks ago which was absolutely amazing because she has, you know, she's pretty darn big. She's got a lot of followers, a lot of following and a lot of people respect her. So I definitely say that um, I'm very excited about that now. I'm going to get into the Huda Beauty powders that they released. A lot of these drama channels have been calling out Huda Beauty and her thievery. Basically, Huda Beauty brought out some powders and it highly resembled that of Beauty Bakery. Now, Beauty Bakery is a black-owned makeup brand who basically uses a lot of a lot of their packaging and branding is all around the idea of actual baking, cooking, being in the kitchen and all stuff like that. Now to my knowledge, Huda Beauty has always been about, you know, desert, Saudi Arabia and stuff like that. The whole Arab sort of side of things with like, you know, those, the striking eye looks and stuff like that. Really stunning. And so that's what I've always like seen as Huda Beauty, you know, products and branding. So when she did the whole um, cooking idea and stuff like that, I was like, hmm, okay, this is cute or whatever. But I feel as though I've seen this before somewhere. And then I saw in a video, 
um, Thomas Halbert mentioned Huda Beauty and he did a video about, you know, products that either he hates or hates him, something like that. And he included her products. And he basically explained that it's a whole ripoff of Beauty Bakery's products. And I thought to myself, hmm. And I had a look, little bit more of a look into it. And I am sad to say that he may be true. He may be right. He may be right, you know. And then I saw Jackie Aina speaking about it. And the whole conversation didn't really pick up until Jeffrey Star spoke about it. That's when I first started hearing like a lot more people speaking about it and I definitely feel as though I see a lot of similarities and I think that sometimes when a brand is smaller bigger brands can sometimes you know just overlook them or oh that's cute let's do that not actually understanding that that little brand has a lot of connections with bigger people or people that support them and that will actually call it out and be like yo this isn't all right um so it does look very similar did she copy I don't know, I can't say, but you know my opinions already, okay? Let's blend out all of this concealer. I'm actually thinking to myself, what else is there that I need to speak about? Because I actually want to do this every now and then, where I actually do like a, you know, a little talking video, where you guys get to speak to me or whatever, and we, you know, we just bond over the face beats. So, I have something else to speak about, guys. I have literally been struggling so much. And it's something that I've kind of always struggled with. And that is my terrible sleeping pattern. I literally have the worst sleeping pattern ever. And for as long as I can remember, it's been this way. And I'm only, like, really, really, really now trying to step outside of that and trying to do things differently because... One thing that I has become very apparent to me is that my face is actually looking a lot older than it should. I feel like I've got this deep line here that has started to form slowly more and more and more over the years. With, you know, bad sleeping habits and patterns and stuff like that. And now that I am 21 and the skin stops to lose that elast natural elasticity that it has as a child, I feel as though... Certain things like that start to show on the skin. And, you know, it's just better to... To just have... To just have a good sleeping pattern and just to value sleep and energy. Because literally recently I'll wake up, I'll have something to eat, and then literally I'll be struck with tiredness and I'll go back to sleep. And it's like... What? Like, you just woke up, but why are you going back to sleep already? And it's literally just like through having a terrible, terrible, terrible bad sleeping habit. And it's not even that, like, I'm doing anything. It's not even, If I could say, oh, well, I spend my time doing this, or I'm doing that, so I'm being productive, I'm literally not doing anything. Most of the time, I'm browsing through the internet. And it's like, do you know what I mean? It's not even like I'm going out, because I literally stopped going out a hot minute ago. I have not been out in a minute. Ah, fast forward, as you can see, the face is almost done. We set it with powder, we highlighted a tad. Now I'm just gonna set my face with a little bit of setting spray. This is from Nip and Fab, the Illuminating Fixing Mist. However, this one, it does give it a little bit of like a, it does have a little bit of sparkle in it and the sparkle is very cool toned. It's very silvery, bluish sort of sparkle. So I'm only gonna try a little bit of this and see how it looks on the skin. I'm scared. <laughs> I said I would try a little bit, but girl, I tried a lot. Let's just hope my face stays in place. <laughs> okay, already looking a little bit glowier, which I'm here for. <clears throat> yeah, now that it's dried, I think it's safe to say that I will not be using that setting spray ever again. I think that it just looks too cool toned and I can actually see the little flecks of sparkle on my skin, which is very silvery looking. If they had something with a little bit more of a bronzy or goldy sort of, or even a rose gold sort of colour, then that could be perfect. But this is just not going to run. I just feel as though it's too silvery looking. But, um, you know, you just got to make do. This is the Butter Lip Gloss in the shade Ginger Snap from NYX Professional Makeup. Literally, this has been my favourite from <laughs> such a long time. Literally, when I started working there, I discovered this lip gloss and I was like, oh my... God, it's actually everything. God, I look like I got fillers, did. I look like my lips have been done. 
but this is the natural juice given from my mother. So girls, basically my tea is dried up. I have no more tea to spill, so I'm gonna finish off my hair and do everything else to head out, and I will be back in a rolly mo. Perfect, I am done and I am ready to step out. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to see something different. Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy watching this video and you enjoyed all the teas and my opinions. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well if you're not already a part of the family. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>